Welcome to Tuesday at Mark's Garage Channel. I'm back underneath the Cherokee. And I gotta lube up this uh, new universal joint. I guess I just don't know when there's enough grease in here. Am I supposed to see those boots spit grease out, those dust caps? And I just did. Starting to come out right over there. I'm going to assume that's enough. It's more than it had. While I'm under here, I want to show you this. What I'm going to show you is the fight that the, the joint put up with me today, or yesterday rather, getting it into the drive shaft. Okay, I hope I do this right. I'm going to put the uh, universal joint now in the drive shaft. You see this two different sizes lengths short side goes on the yoke and these longer sides go on the drive shaft itself and I don't want to lose any of those needle bearings in there so this goes something like that that and I guess this goes into there like that there. I don't know if I'm supposed to press it or tap it with a hammer. I've seen it done both ways. So I'm going to try tapping it and see if anything moves. Hmm. I think I would prefer to press this with a with the press. Now I can the problem with doing it in the press is you really need like four hands, someone to hold this in place, and someone to work to operate the press. Because if, if I'm not in the holes, I'm not going to go in. I'll be worse off. But let's see if I can kind of get it started at least. I can't even see if it's going in or not as I drive this one in. That, fit, that feels like it's not going in. So I'll take a look. Hmm. I'm definitely in the bottom one. And I don't want to lose these caps off the side ones and make it worse. see it doesn't line up. If I push it and force it, yes yeah, so I'm doing something wrong here. I'm not sure what. Can't press one in and then the other. It's all got to go together at once. Otherwise, you're in trouble. It'll never go. So. If I do this, this comes 
down a little further. Closer. Oh, I think I I think I went in that time. I think I'm in. I think now it's gonna go this way. See, see what happens. No, it doesn't seem to be in. So now I'm going to get myself in trouble here. And that's what I want to avoid happening with that cap falling off. And what I got to do is check this now. Make sure all the bearings are in there. They are. Set that aside, put that aside, that won't happen again. And look at this. Am I in the holes? I'm in that one. I'm in that one. Now I'm in both. Okay. So I guess you squeeze it then. I'll go in one, I'll go in the other, right? It's got to. i hold this as straight as I can. I got one that's in, but is the, I guess the question is, It's going. We'll do this now. After all that, I think that's as far as the piston goes. We're flush on both sides, but we got to be past flush because I got to put 
a retainer in on each side. So now I gotta go find the right size socket that'll go in there and push that. And while I'm looking for that, did I bring the retainers? The retainers are down here. So let me go get those, get a socket, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay. So you got that socket balanced on there. I just got to go in about another eighth of an inch to get past the, the little lip for the retainer. I'll put that in. And I'll flip it over and do the other side. It should be good to go. That goes right in. I guess you can go a little further. I'm not seeing the ridge for the retainer. There. That went down a little bit. Let's see if I can get this retainer in place. And then I have to press the other side down as well. There it goes. I think I had it. I thought I had it. You got part of it. <laughs> I had a bigger needle nose too. I can't find them. And just maybe just push these down. Oh yeah, I hear it click in. So now it's in that. There's a groove. Now I flip this over. See, I'm flush here. I'll bring it back to the vise, push it down again, and expose that groove. I won't show you that, I'll just stop the camera. So I don't know if you can see this, but I was putting this together and it wouldn't go together right and it felt funny. You see that needle bearing laying on the bottom? I knew something was wrong. It just didn't feel right. So I took it all apart and there it is. A needle bearing on the bottom fell in and that's what I was trying to avoid. When I was putting it together. So I got to pull fish that out, put it in the right place. Well, it took two tries, but I ended up taking the bearing caps out. I showed you the first one, but the second one had four needle bearings laying on the bottom or on the top, depending on how you look at it. But they had to be put in the right way and redone. And now everything's all set. And I'm ready to try to give that um, yoke a shot.